Hi everyone, I'm Angela and welcome to Angela's Fashion Mix. In a prior video, I mentioned that you don't always have to wear a suit together because it came together. This video is showing you how I'm taking three suits and I'm breaking those pieces up to create additional looks. That way I can maximize what I have and also have the opportunity to just wear some pieces that I may not wear on a regular basis. And that way I can kind of get through what's in my closet. I'm also showing you the shoes that I'm going to put with them, a few handbags, and jewelry as well. So I'm going to start with a spring item, and it actually is a kind of a maize color in the yellow family still, but it's a much lighter, leaning more toward a pastel. So this is the suit itself. I've had it for a while. It's a three-quarter length jacket, my favorite length of jacket. And this is a suit by Karen Scott, familiar brand that J.C. Penney carried. They may still carry it. Um, and it's a nice weight for year-round. If you're bold to wear it year-round, that is totally a great option because of the weight. The pants are lined and so is the jacket. And I'm going to pair this with, to start, this shrimp color in this blouse. These two colors play well together because they're in the same hue in terms of saturation of color. And what I mean by that is that this isn't a bubblegum, it's not a, a passion pink, it's not hot pink, and this isn't, of course, as you see, a very bold yellow but because the tones are the same in these two pieces in terms of the saturation of color they work well together so I'm putting that as one option with this suit so you'll see that another option if you want to go kind of monochromatic and not have any color that offsets the yellow you can kind of put in what this is is a gold gold blouse I like the detail on this blouse, and I got this blouse from Chic Me, C-H-I-C-M-E. It was an online purchase, and very affordable. It was under $20, so I love the detail here at the neckline. You don't have to wear a necklace with that, so that's one additional way. So with the shrimp color, the shoes that I'm going to wear is a mule. And I'm picking this because of the colors in the mule. So it pretty much brings in both of those colors. So this is a great spring option here. And for the jewelry, I purchased this from, I believe, Paparazzi. That's the company that I told you about that has the $5 jewelry. I believe this was a necklace, but it can also be worn as a belt. I have worn it as a belt. It is long enough to do that. So that's going to go here with that. And that is one, one look there. And we got a couple of options on handbags. So you can do something like that with the muted gold. Or we can also do this and kind of keep the gold going there. So we could do a crossbody if you chose to do that. So that's one option there. So as you can see, you can mix up different things and create other opportunities. So I'm going next to a skirt suit. Very nice for this time of year with Easter coming up. It could be a great option in terms of this color. This is a coral. Maybe showing it's pink, but it is coral. And I love the neckline on this particular jacket. It is belted. And it's a, on me, a knee length skirt. And with that, I'm going to I'm going to put a tank up under it in the white. Just a basic white tank because it does plunge very low. And with that, we can go a little bolder. You've probably seen this before. So I'm going really bold and chunky on the neckline with this look. And with this look, going to bring in this shoe 
So Sling Back, it's by Nine West. And these were thrifted. They were $7 and brand new. Brand new, $7. And I always mention that in terms of mixing in some thrifted pieces with your other retail pieces to create looks. And that way you can find a lot more opportunities in terms of what you can wear with your outfits. Next I have a spring suit. It is a pantsuit with the pinstripe. The pants are lined, the jacket is lined, but it is very lightweight. This is an old suit from Talbot's. And again, when I mention a little bit higher price point, but also bringing in lower price points to kind of complement your outfits, this is what I mean. So you can do this with a mixed print on the top to give you some interest there. It doesn't have to be white. You can do white, of course, but that gives you a bit of interest there. Again, we can put these shoes with it. And that works well. We can do a crossbody bag with it to keep the color kind of in the same family. Or again, we could do the muted gold. Just to give you some options there. So now let's go back. Those are the three suits. And this is what we're going to do now. So with the three suits, we're going to mix it up a little bit. And we're going to put, going to open this jacket up. And we're going to put that with the coral skirt. We're going to put a cream colored top with it. And that's going to give us another whole look. As you can see here in the picture, you have some options. So we're breaking up the jacket from a suit and breaking up the skirt from a different suit to create this look. And with regard to handbag, we're going to bring that in to coordinate with the skirt. So you can see how that plays together. So this is what we're doing there. So for the jewelry, we can go really heavy because the neckline on the tank is going to be very simple. So you can always go heavier and chunkier with the jewelry. So if you've got something really, really simple on the neckline, you can always punch it up with bold jewelry. So for this particular look, I'm bringing in this shoe. Now you see that heel? That's been very popular for the past couple of years. I do like that heel. Just gives a little bit of dressiness to it. Strap around the ankle. And it's a little bit lower heel. So that's going to be very comfortable too. So that's one way to mix that. So now we're going to take the jacket from the suit. And you can mix this jacket with a pair of cream pants. You can do that. You can bring that same top back if you want to do that and create that look. Again, you can add the chunky jewelry. You can add the same handbag. Now for the jacket instead of the skirt. So you kind of get a feel for what I'm doing here just in terms of mixing it all up. So for our next look, we're going back to the coral jacket, and this time I'm putting it with the maize colored pant. And the tank top I'm going to use this time matches more with the jacket. So that gives us more of a monochrome look with the suit and the tank top. And then I'm putting that again back with this pair of shoes. So you can mix up and match the shoes and we can do a different handbag just depends on what it is you want to do and how you want that handbag to function you can also mix the jewelry so that is another option that way you can get through all of your jewelry pieces as well and for our final look i am putting 
the suit jacket back and I'm going to do the cream top and as you can see once you start to mix and match you can get to wear certain pieces quite a bit just kind of to keep those basic pieces in mind and this is what we're doing with the suit and we're doing a little bit different here on the shoe so this is a strappy sandal it laces up well it doesn't actually lace it ties it's right up the leg so that gives you some nice detail there if you're wearing it with the skirt but i'm putting it with this particular suit and i'm going to put a flower to bring this color into my suit i'm putting a flower there I'm doing an orange earring with it. So we're creating a whole different feel there. And a handbag. So I hope this gives you some idea of how you can wear your suits just by breaking up the pieces and creating new looks by mixing them in with things that you already have. So I challenge you to take a look, just pull a couple of suits out of your wardrobe. Look around to see how you can break those pieces up. Just lay them out on the bed, separate the suit from the top, the bottom from the top, and just force yourself to find the top, a different pair of shoes, different jewelry, or a different handbag to create a new look that you will love. Thank you for watching. Please visit my Instagram at Angela's Fashion Mix where you can see photos of how I go dress day to day. Also, please do like, share, and subscribe to this video. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.